All right, this video is for me to show you guys how to do some of the alpha decay problems and beta decay problems. So let me share the whiteboard with you. All right, so if you were some of the unfortunate folks that did not get to um, see the class because of the power outage today, uh, or if you did see the class and you just needed a few more examples, we talked about two types of radiation. So you have alpha decay, which is where your nucleus is breaking down some. We said this happens in some of the heavier elements. All right, and the way you recognize it is it looks like this when it's written out with the alpha symbol, or it can be written like this. You still have the four over two, but the helium symbol, you know, like, why the heck is that? Well, with alpha decay, um, the nucleus is going to release two protons and two neutrons. Okay, so it's going to lighten up a little bit, all right? So which is where the four comes from right here, because two plus two is four. Remember, your ma that's your mass number, because that's the way we write it. We put the mass number on the top. And we put the atomic number on the bottom. So when you put two and two together, that makes up four out of the mass. The mass on the top. And then the bottom number here is your atomic number. And in this case, we're showing that we're losing two protons. Okay. So that's just how you notice that, okay, this, this equation is having to do with alpha decay. All right. So let me give you an example. Let's start with um this one right here so it's written out as you start with this element here that has a mass of 209 and atomic number of 85 and its atomic symbol is a t that is um I'm trying to remember the name of it atenium or something i'm looking for 85 uh no sorry that is astatine okay all right, so we have our equation, just like a math equation, or a chemical equation. You have to figure out what that element is going to decay into because remember, if we change the mass and we change the uh, number of protons, it's going to be a different element. All right, and you're going to know that this is alpha decay. You won't always be told that it's alpha decay, but I'm telling you it is. But what you'll do is you'll look at the equation to see if it has the symbol, and if it does, you know it's alpha decay. All right. Now we just said that it's going to, the nucleus is going to release. So basically we are losing two protons and two neutrons. All right, from this right here. So we subtract. All right, so we said that, you know, for the mass, it's going to be these two added together. Remember atomic mass is always the neutrons and the protons. So we're losing four from the mass, which is indicated right here. But 209 minus four, is going to give you 205. That's your mass of your new element that it's going to decay into. And we had an 85 as our atomic number before. Well, we got to subtract two protons from the atomic number, and we're going to end up with 83 as our new atomic number. Now, you have to figure out what goes here. What element is this? Well, the way you do that is you look at the periodic table, and the periodic table um, is going to give you the atomic number. So you got to look up 83. And 83 atomic number gives you bismuth, which has a symbol of Bi. So this is what uh, the AT here, the astatine, is going to decay into when it has alpha decay occur to it. And this is uh, this whole equation is balanced. It's called the law of conservation of mass. Law of conservation of mass, because you have the same amount of mass on one side as you do on the other. 205 plus 4 is going to give you 209, and 83 plus 2 is going to give you 85, so it balances. All right, so that's an alpha decay. Let me give you another example without getting rid of our information here on the top, so you can remember that. All right. Let's see. Let's look at this one. Atomic mass of 210. 
atomic number of 89. And that is actinium, AC, actinium. All right, you got to figure out what element it's going to turn into. Of course, we know it's alpha decay already. I'm going to write this one out with the helium. Now, the reason why they use helium here, it's because um, an atomic mass of four and atomic number of two is basically a helium atom. So when you have this alpha decay going on, it's like it's release, releasing a helium atom, um, which is why they use this symbol. But it's either one. You can either use the alpha decay symbol or you can use HE. You just have to be able to recognize them both. All right, again, so when you have alpha decay, the nucleus is going to lose two protons and two neutrons. When you add those together, you're going to subtract four from the atomic mass. So 210 minus four gives you 206. And the atomic number here is the number of protons. So 89 minus 2 is going to give you an atomic number of 87. Now, you got to go look on the periodic table in order to figure out what element it is. And 87 is Frank francium, and it is abbreviated FR. So that is your answer. That is what this element is going to decay into. You can check your law of conservation of mass to make sure they add up. 206 plus 4 gives you 210. 87 plus 2 is going to give you 89, so it balances. So that's alpha decay. All right. Like I said, hopefully you watched my recorded lecture of the PowerPoint so you get some of the other information with this. I'm just showing you some examples now of how to work through the problems. All right, so the next type of decay was beta decay. All right, beta decay is written as a 0 over a negative 1 with the beta symbol or 0 over a negative 1 with the electron symbol. Either one, when you see these, you know it's beta decay. Now, what happens to a nucleus in beta decay? It loses a, uh, something called a positron, which is where this little negative thing comes from. But eh, I, I don't even want to have to worry about that right now because it doesn't really affect what I'm doing in this problem. So um, I'm going to like get rid of that. I just wanted to show you where that negative comes from. I, I don't even care that you know what a positron is. But what you do need to know is that um, a neutron turns into or decays into a proton. So the um, new element will have an extra proton. So this time we're going to be adding a proton. All right, so let's look at an example. Let's see, what can we use? How about, let's do sodium. All right, so we have an atomic mass of 24, atomic number of 11, this is sodium. And you're gonna be given this part right here. So you're gonna be like, okay, that's beta decay, but you gotta figure out what element it's going to turn into. Since you know it's beta decay, you're going to know this little piece of information right here. The only thing that's going to be affected during beta decay is your atomic number, not your mass. The reason that is is because it's a neutron that's already in the nucleus. So it's already added to the atomic mass. It's just going to turn into a proton. And of course, if that happens, though, it will affect your atomic number because your atomic number is the number of protons. So you've got to add one to it. All right. So we leave the 24. The atomic mass is left alone. But our 11 here, we've got to add a proton to it. So now our atomic number turns into a 12. And you're going to look at the periodic table. And you're going to find the element that is number 12. And that is magnesium, which is written Mg. Now, if you want to check your law of conservation of mass, 
to make sure this balances out and you have the same mass on both sides. Then you just go 24 plus 0 is 24, check. And then 12 minus 1 is 11, check. Okay, everything's good. Let's do one more for beta. All right, let's see what we got in my examples. Let's do this one. All right, 28 is the atomic mass. 13 is the atomic number. Uh, this is aluminum. All right, you got to figure out what it's going to decay into. I'll use this symbol this time instead of the beta, but remember, it's the same thing. All right, so again, remember what happens. You're like, okay, this is beta decay. What happens during beta decay? A neutron turns into a proton, which means this new element here is going to have an extra proton. Now, we said it does not affect mass because, remember, that neutron that's turning into the proton has already been added into the mass number. So it's not like it's coming in from the outside of the atom. It's already inside the nucleus. All right, so leave it as 28. But what you do have to do is add an, a proton to your atomic number, so it's going to turn into 14. Now you've got the identifying piece that you need to figure out what the uh, element that aluminum is decaying into, which is atomic number of 14. So what has a 14 in the periodic table? That's silicon with the symbol of Si. Again, you can check your law of conservation of mass. 28 and 0 is 28, and 14 minus 1 is 13. So everything checks out. And that's how you do beta decay. All right. So there's so much more to this chapter. I know that some of y'all missed the lecture. Please go watch the recorded lecture so you can get some of the other information that you need. But this is the part that's new for you know the mathy kind of stuff and being able to look at the periodic table. If you still have questions, please email me, um, but hopefully this will help, okay? All right, guys.